In a recent episode, Scoutcrafter recommended we all try modifying an old square shank screwdriver to have a convex tip. I was at the Golden Nugget Flea Market in Lambertville, New Jersey, and a vendor had wood handle screwdrivers for a dollar each. I picked this one up especially for Scoutcrafter's challenge. It had the square shank like he showed in his video. There was no maker's mark, so I didn't feel bad about modifying it. The shank was a little crooked, so I used some Magdad muscle to straighten it out. I used my most aggressive belt in my sander to reshape the tip. I dipped the shank in water periodically to protect the temper. Here's the shank reshaped with a convex tip. I worked through the belts down to 400 grit. I had an idea I wanted to try. I wanted to use this carriage bolt to make a striking face on the butt of the handle like a chisel. My plan was to drill out the handle until I reached metal so the bolt would have direct contact with the shank. I kind of made an educated guess as to where the center of the handle was. I started out with an eighth inch drill and worked my way up to five sixteenths. I was able to feel when the point of the drill hit metal. I hope you can see the top of the shank at the bottom of the hole. I squared up the mouth of the drilled hole to match the carriage bolt. Here's the bolt shortened to fit the hole. I wanted to leave a slight gap to ensure metal on metal contact. I was impressed with how centered the bolt was in the handle. Not bad for eyeballing it, Magdad. I used my drill to sand and then polish the carriage bolt head. I also gave the shank a going over with the fiber wheel. I sanded the handle down to 320 grit. I didn't need it to be perfect because I planned on painting it. I used my homemade abrasive discs in my Dremel to clean up the furl. Here's what the screwdriver looked like the day I brought it home from the flea market. I think it turned out pretty good. I was able to duplicate the convex tip that Scoutcrafter recommended. I gave the handle a coat of shellac to seal the wood, then I sprayed it flat black, and then matte clear. My through handle striking pad seems like it would work just like the one on this chisel. Oh, and don't worry. Chuck made sure we flitzed it. I'm looking forward to using this modified screwdriver. Thanks to Scoutcrafter for sharing this idea with all of us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I got this screwdriver from the same vendor. It's a North Brothers number 95 in decent condition. It still has a lot of its original paint left on the handle. The screwdrivers are sort of a side item for this vendor. 
He goes by Stoneman61 online. He specializes in antique gun parts made into keychains or jewelry. I picked up one of his Mauser rear sight keychains to give to one of my shooting buddies. This steel case 45 ACP round is pretty cool. During the war, the Evansville Chrysler plant made over 3 billion of these. The 43 on the case dates it to 1943. Pretty cool, huh?